Hello everyone, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2 The Lizard Men Campaign. Last time the ritual was a joke. We saw why it was a joke. Really? Could you describe it as anything else? We just butchered them. Like, that wasn't even arguably a fight. That was just... Honestly, it's a weird mixture of depressing and hilarious, in my opinion. Now that I'm at war with Iron Spike... Not Iron Spike, Nagarontho, I'm gonna take it so I can have this city... This province, rather, fully assembled. Ah, the sunburst standard of Hexawaddle. Gotta love it. But you can't stack multiple banners, but I understand where that would be considered broken. I don't think we need to fight this, though. I really don't. There will be consequences! Your consequences can fit up my ass! Alright, demolish that. Keep that working. Build you up. I also don't have a lot of trade partners anymore, so... There we go. Oh, Axolotl needs a thing. Right, right. It had a... It need walls. That was it. I managed to forget what walls were called for a moment, ladies and gents. You're wounded, nice! And they cause fear against Skaven and... Ooh, Zoat Servant. Nice! Nice! Let's get you, Assassin! Now, technologically... I want to get the Great Beast Rampage, but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get it before the final go. Apologies for the mouse in the background, but my cat appears to be complaining about something. Hmm. Seems of coexistence is pretty crap, but exploitation is okay. The main thing I want is the sequence of geological prospecting, but that's also money, which I don't need. Sequence of the ferocity, and more importantly, sequence of the hunt, though, are going to be very nice. I'm going to go here. They'll take 17 turns, and I'll, which means that I'll be halfway through the ritual of alignment by the time I actually get this done. Alright. Now, you. You've moved this turn, you lot. So as to Mantarax, to help demolish the elves. Quetgar has also moved up to demolish the elves. Because I need to take Lothar next time they have a thing happen. Thing, I'm so eloquent. Ma Adan, you're going to be one of my primary. Just run around and break things, lords. Like, you exist mostly for suppression. Oh, good god. What's wrong with your geomantic web strength? That can't be right. What's one? Ruins and enemy settlements. Oh. Oh, right, the next enemy settlement is the Silder Tor, so I need to go down there and smash that to pieces. Does it have walls? It does not have wall. Rather, it doesn't have the special wall, so I'm fine with taking it with a stack. Still, the plus 10 growth and the plus 1 public order will help. Climate of crafting, please! Oh, the Isthmus. Is. 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 Main bit! Austria. Ah, Mazzy, you need an updo. Uh, you have Rally, you have that, you have that. You do not have Slon Force Field. Now, Slon Force Field is arguably worse than Rally, as I said. It may last for five seconds longer, but it's half the leadership. 
However, it's targetable. It's got a longer range from 40 meters to 150, and it gives the magic resist, so... I'm gonna go for it! Unthinkable. The low C I am not worried about. She has 11 cards, and, and even my 14 city card stack at Quintex I think could take her. The Executioners would be a hard sell, but I'm confident in my Saurus, and more importantly, I'm confident in being able to ram my at, fill their asses with Croxigores. What else did I need to do? What else did I need to do? Oh, right here it is, the Miracles of Tepok. Ah, I can upgrade to a fire at with that. Right. Cost of Arabe. Ah, I can upgrade the Fortress of Dawn with an Eastern Bazaar and another point in Croxgore Labor District. And I got that. I got that. All right, that's pretty good. Ooh, I want to get that Sea Corpse though. It could be good, but it that involved me recruiting another Lord. Ooh. I do want the High Elves to go in at me at the Temple of Skulls. Mostly because of the dragon. I want to sh kill a dragon this time. Yes, no, there's no dragon in the actual army. I'd mouse over that description, but unfortunately I can't actually do that. But, yeah. Star Dragon Mount. Star Dragon Mounts are kind of assholes. Does it have a different description for princes and princesses? Princesses, by the way, are hybrid melee range. Also, why did it shut up? I didn't see it still animated, so it clearly hasn't frozen, but really? They have different files, so that could be interesting, because princes are hybrid melee range, and princes are just flat-out melee. Really? No actual separate description. You know what? Fuck you too. I hope a th a Thenor does not happen to have her own faction to return in March to return to turn. That would be annoying. Now I had a hero around here, like I'm going to use to try and soften up Lothar in a bit. Oh. No, wait, they got stabbed. Never mind, I'm stupid. Wait, you have a thing. Wait, that's new. Gilden Horn of Galan Kunuk. Ooh. I wouldn't take that in a vol thing unless it was really bad. There's some really good vol ones though. Like there's one that gives your entire army 12% physical resist. Just think about that. You have a thing. Is this? Are you just? Yeah, you just have a talisman of preservation. Something useful, but not too interesting, because we've seen it before quite a bit. Lore well, masters aren't really doing anything interesting, frankly.
now Nagaron is doing a thing. I wonder what they're going to do with that army of Neloses. Now they're going to swing down to Sisildra Tor, which I need to demolish anyway so I can get the geomantic web running properly. Uh... Clan Pestilens! They- <clears throat> Wait, how did he- Audit. Scroll, which way are you going? Because I need to demolish you. Wait, how are they supporting two stacks with two? Frack it! I'm gonna just call it up to scale and you just being stupidly, stupidly cheap. take the Chamber of Visions, or are you just... Did the Chamber of Visions do something that just deserves getting beaten up over and over and over again? Is AI just grinding XP at this rate? Because that's what I think it's doing. It's just grinding XP at this rate. I'm not interested. Why well, is he still exists? Because I'm a bit worried about the high elves. Come on, hurry up. Waldekir, Helschnick, going back to Poxmark. Actually, no, Poxmark was just taken. Never mind. No, he's moving on the Blood Swamps. We're also garrisoned and we'll have the support units. That's going to be interesting. Unknown Skaven Clan, Ono Cankered. What are you going to do? Well, Zotl is clearly a scaven infested den of evil. I'll let the Chaos Forces run rampant even if they're corrupting my territory simply because, well, they're saving me some work. Yeah. Send Mazzy down to take out Sildator, and honestly, I might just take Grey Rock Point too, just to be, you know, thorough. Also, like the description on the fighting pits. 
You will fight for our amusement, or you will die. Sorry, I mean, then you will die. It's just dark elf humor. <laughs> Stretch. Sorry, not that spine. Population surplus in the Iron Peaks. Is it a level I care about? No. Southern Badlands. Do I care about it? Uh, no. Blood Shrines and Casabar. Ah, I can spend my money on something. Well done. The Mortuary. Now we'll get an actual garrison. I saw him over here. I know it's about to happen, and I will accept it. Though if I foil the ambush, that'll be freaking hilarious in my opinion. Oh! No, he ran further. Damn. Ah, <sighs> shit. That's not good. Ah, oh, Koffer can get a higher level Eastern, but yes, Kemri up, Kemri up, Kemri up, Kemri up. Which sounds like some sort of weird football chant now that I say it out loud. Shrines first, Locus, Walls. What else can I chuck in? Um, That, I guess, and save for Weapon Crafter? You attack once again, get screwed over. Oh! I get some more money from a shipwreck! That's good. This is about two stacks worth of troops. Split into three stacks, admittedly, but still. And they're all decently high quality troops, too. Like, four horned ones is enough cavalry that I'd be feel confident in sending it against most enemy cavalry stacks of similar number. Now, I could let them siege Tlaqua, or I actually, you know what, we're not going to have a Skaven battle for a long time. The Rat Ogres are there and they're kind of boring. Uh, nah. Goodbye. So Sacrifice the Sojak in the hopes of actually getting my some gold ranking temple guard already, goddammit. Croc guard level 39! Scarred veteran, please. Now that we're here, I'm going to do something I've wanted to do for a long time. This might annoy some people, because these skirmishes have been with me for a long time. I'm going to disband them. And 
Maybe I'm gonna replace them with solar engine bastillodons. Or maybe ancient stegodons. Actually, solar in actually normal stegodons are better than solar engine bastillodons in terms of how far they shoot. That's mostly what I want out of these units. Like, ancient stegodons will be better in a brawl, but I'm not looking for them to brawl. I'm looking for them to be artillery units. And I want and I want good artillery units. You no longer need the alignment of war. Please give me the alignment of crafting for more coin. Cause that ends up with more money. Not going, it's kind of hard to keep all, track of all my provinces and what alignments they're running on, so going through a quick look-see. You dishonor me. My axe thirsts for war. How's the Black Pyramid doing? It's getting worse. Mostly because of the Black Pyramid itself, which I am, which I still think is worth it because of the magic resistance for all forces. That's just. That is indescribably solid. Worth damage buildings. Marks of the old ones. I'm repairing it again, aren't I? If I hold Oxel for a few turns, not only would I get a strategic location for me, I would be able to completely kill the, the Skaven's Ritual, which basically means victory, means they can't achieve victory. <laughs> Stink stench of failure! All right, not see anything else, so let's get rolling, shall we? Probably going to go ping, ping, swing, and then follow up with these guys. Because by then, by the time I get here, the Hyle should have started their ritual, and I can jump on Lothard and kill everyone in it. With an incredibly difficult fight, mind. I do not expect Lothard to be an easy kill. It's tier five, and it's a faction capital. If that died easy, <clears throat> I would actually be disappointed. <laughs> Hell, I'll probably even play the fight, because how often do you get to fight at a faction capital? You know? Like a true faction capital, not like the Temple of Skulls is like a faux capital. But a true faction capital. Speaking of which, things that I want in Total War Warhammer 3, the ability to move your capital, even if it's stupidly expensive. Like, yeah, you'll have ancient cities like Hexawaddle, who will still be super amazing, even if they're not your capital, but... I just like, you know, actually viable goddamn... Never mind. A little grumpy. What is your... He only has a talisman or protection, honestly. That's not too impressive. <sighs> Teclis is going to ram his army up my ass and rampage around there instead of letting me strike at the Ratman, isn't he? I'm going to need to go kill Teclis. Well, not kill, because, well, the way the system works means you can't really kill a legendary lord without total faction wipe, and I don't have the time for that. I have a ritual to complete. But, I need to give it a shot. Is the High Elf Intervention going to move in? Because I really hope the High Elf Intervention moves in soon. It'll re-enable my trade income, which is would be very useful at this point in time. Oh, that's how they're supporting another stack. Sherft is basically entirely Skaven slaves. 
it would be kind of funny to have Sharf go up against my Saurus, honestly. Just because, well... Entire stacks were of a scathe and slaves. Aha! And... It's vastly overestimating those cavalry, ladies and gentlemen. Fortunately, because of that, and the fact that I really, 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 really don't want to lose my capital, we're going to have to fight this! We're getting a battle this episode, ladies and gentlemen! It's the High Elves! And the fact that they brought light cavalry to a siege battle! After all, everyone knows harassment units are so good when the enemy has just dug in and refuses to leave. It makes perfect sense, right? Right? No? It doesn't? Okay. Those five evil claws could make a viable strategy if they're focus fired, though. I'm probably going to have my towers blow those up. Like the cavalry, I'm not too worried about. I have temple guard. The ego claws, though, there's a problem there. Five gambling. Remember, kids, gambling pays. It'll quadruple your money. Please note, gambling does not actually pay in real life. This is fiction. Do not take it as reality. I think two cards of Temple Guard, the Skinks, and the Priest will be enough to hold that one. And if they land their dragon, I want some Temple Guard over here anyway. The only thing they're going to really be forcing through isn't going to work well here. Very good, Krokdar is your boss. I'm pretty sure is what that translates as. That's what it translates as, at least. Actually, I blew up one of the siege towers. That'd really help. Wait, they put archers in a siege? What? I'm just confused. Whatever. Blow out the eagle claws, please. I yeah, should have noticed that tower wasn't properly manned, or lizarded, I guess. Oh wow, uh, that tower got really screwed up all of a sudden. You 
you kill that tower, I'll be confident, because archers on the walls will just get butchered. See if you can hit the princess. Ooh! I ripped about 1,100 health off of her. of arrows before I run out of lizards, guys. The walls are breached? Dinosaur. Dragon, not dinosaur. And they're trying to charge Temple Guard with cavalry. How will this work out for you? Here's my personal prediction. Really badly. Destroyed. Oh look, it's a. <laughs> I'd like to just imagine that he just bust down the gates. They were so eager to get in, and then all of a sudden, they saw the temple guard on the other side, and they decided this may not have been a good idea. You know. Cavalry at Temple Guard. Destruction Look at that kill count. Even if there's this earlier in reverse are not going to do well. And here they're doing it again. <laughs> Oh 
my god, did you see how those elves went flying? These Trumple Guard have killed over a hundred cavalry units. We're in Reavers coming units of 60. They have effectively killed nearly two cards of the Urian Reavers by themselves, and they took 30 losses just from a wall falling down. They currently have 68 dead. I'd like you to consider this for these numbers for a moment and what they mean. I'll leave you in silence for a bit. Also, goddamn that lord. But it's a bit over four high elves dead for every dead lizard man. Let's make that ratio worse for them, shall we? <laughs> Close victory. Four to one kill to death ratio. Honestly, the, the victory management system, like it declaring that was a close victory, really does need some work. Shakara's coming with 10 cards against Quintex. That might work for you, Shakara. It might also not work. You know? Uaxti, once again, has not actually destroyed the Chamber of Visions. Let's see what the Vampire Coast does. They're going into the Blood Swamps and getting absolutely wrecked. Is the Order of Lord Masters at war with Clan Pestilence? have bun clubbers.
Boar Boy Biggins and Black Orcs. Lovely. By love me, and by lovely, I mean, well, shit. Techless, I need to learn something about you. Ah, good, they're at war with Clan Pestilence. <laughs> well done, Bronze Claw. I'm probably saying that horribly, but whatever. There's not like there's lizard men out here who will mulch me for it. Finish this turn. It did! Watch the taints die in all regions I have characters. For reference, that untainted plus five is the same you get out of a max rank skink priest. Effectively, all of my skink priests not only have their effects doubled, but all my heroes now count as a max rank skink priest. Skink priest. That is going to be amazingly powerful. Martech, money. This is so if need be, I can recruit Croc scores, who I rather like. I need to do some work in you attack, didn't I? Yes, I did. I need to get the sacrificial altar of Sotek upgrade to the blood shrines of Sotek for more of the mass amounts of faction wide thingy. Post battle loop, not thingy. I'm not even sure what to do with you. I guess block army, just in case. Well, that's about it, honestly. You're a brawler! Continue to brawl. I gotta want to put Cecilia Tor under siege and get some wall, oh, some defenses. Ooh, ooh, yeah. I'd honestly feel comfortable about beating them on the open field if they didn't have any defenses, because I could really wreck some of their troop types. But as is, let's see if they'll be if they'll be dumb enough to Sally. <laughs> Oh, you stupid idiots! This is literally two to one odds in card size. Ooh. They have dragon princes. Dragon princes are really good against fire with 70% resist. Thanks, they don't use any fire attacks whatsoever, except for my sunbeams. They're scary bastards. They effectively have plus six more melee attack until their hit points drop below 50% due to martial mastery instead of having martial uh, prowess. But honestly, there's a better about to show off than this would basically be. And then the sword masters are drowned in Saurus, the end. Goodbye. Oh! Sanuika! Ow. 
Oh, I aborted it. Um. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Proud warrior! What else did I want to do? Right, you guys! I need you to do things. You're going here. This gets what I hope I get. I so pleased. Damn it! I'm beginning to wonder if the, point, if the special Leviathan thing, the, the one that gives the armor that gives you regeneration, is actually meek the Dark Elf. Because the only place I've actually seen it is on the Dark Elf. So I'm wondering if it's actually unique. Which would be very, very annoying in all honesty. I would not be pleased if that turned out to be true. I am going to grab remnants of battle, though, mostly because I can use all the injections to my treasury I can get. All of true silver, heavy art. Wow, that's really good. That's really good. Ooh, a Skull Reef. These always give 10,000, by the way, so if you ever find them and you're in need of coin... Go, go, Slaughter Rangers! Yes, I'm probably butchering the original tune. <laughs> can't sing for shit anyway. How are these guys doing? Are there any really close to... Gold? You have 1139 XP remaining. Alright. Next turn, my Pterodon Riders will be a little faster, but honestly, that's not really useful. <laughs> Interested if they sally here, though. Oh shit, I forgot you were doing the thing, damn it. At least demolishing Oxel will really help. I can honestly sacrifice the marks of the old ones and burn them badly at Tzulekwa before they get to anything really important. Techless, do something. Honestly, the most damaging thing that could happen right now is the intervention comes back in and they don't go straight in. Because that would deny me 10,000 gold pieces of income. If 
fuck you too. Suck you, Chotai. Suck you. Wow, they won't even consider a confederation. Holy shit. I mean, I know I haven't given them any gifts or anything, but they have literally one city. They should kind of be considering it a little harder. What on earth? That wasn't it. A... Continuing the trend of my Let's Plays being interrupted by noises I don't even understand, we have... Bing! Boop! -boop. One of these days, I'll figure this out. Today is not likely to be that day. Ya- Yarek? Really? Commissar Yarek? What? Does he have- Yarek must always spot with some sort of orc bane trait. They'd have to do that. I have that or he gets like- Alright, it's a higher chance of getting some sort of special item that's a power- that's not a power claw. Or he can get an orc rival really easily. I don't know, but come on. Yarrick? They're totally Commissar Yar Yarrick referencing there. The cross-pollination from the, from the newborn to the original. Though the original is a rotting corpse officially, because fuck you, Age of Sigmar. Apologies, I am very salty about Age of Sigmar. Arkhandra's Kalsons. Oh, he's recruited Savage Orc Biguns and Orc Boar- Savage Orc Boar Boy Biguns! If that's a hard mouthful to swallow, congratulations, you're in the exact same spot as me. Well, even if Chaos loses, Oxel's garrison will be gutted. So, I win really every way. This will always be more than you have, by the way. Don't- I'm not going to bother with it, because again, I don't need it. But, as much as it's a little early, there's still some time to do stuff. No. That's interesting. Technically starts with the unit of Swordsmasters of Hoeth, yet... I ain't seeing any Swordsmasters of Hoeth here. things that must be done. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below or on the threads on space battles and sufficient velocity that are, will be linked in the description. And for now, goodbye!